One preventive chore that you can be doing this time of year to keep your peaches healthy is to spray them with a fungicide for peach leaf curl. Now this is done during the dormant season to prevent diseases such as peach leaf curl and it has to be done before the buds swell out in the spring. So why not do it this time of year when it's dry and when you can get a good protective coating on. If you wait until late January, early February, we may get into a warm spell and once the fruit bud scales open and you get the fungus washing down in there, you can't control it. Remember peach leaf curl is one that shows up after flowering in the spring. The leaves shrivel up and fall to the ground and sometimes the fruit is affected as well. And the only way to control it is with a pre preventive coating of selected fungicides and those are listed in your home fruit spray schedule Plus we have an OSU fact sheet that tells all about peach leaf curl control on peaches and nectarines. Now what I'm using today is Coside 101. It's a wettable powder. I want to make sure that I keep it agitated as I spray. The wind is just barely out of the north, although it is a fairly calm day for still water. So I want to spray with the wind at my back, starting at the top and working my way down. And you want to coat the, the stems fairly thoroughly, but also make sure that as you work your way around that you not only coat the outer parts of the tree, but also make sure that you coat the main limbs and all the way down to the trunk. And we're just doing this as a sampling. I certainly haven't done all the tree right now. The other tip I want to give you is be sure you wear protective clothing. I have on goggles to keep the spray drift out of my eyes. I have on gloves and boots. And I have on clothing that is washable. And I'll run this through the wash cycle separate from my other laundry. Now with peach leaf curl, if you do get it later in the spring, there's some things you can do to help control that. And we'll give you tips on that in the spring. But the main thing to keep in mind is to do your preventive sprays right now. And this is not the same as dormant oil that's put on later in the winter for smothering overwintering insects. This is strictly a fungicide spray for that disease. Well, you might have noticed that our peach tree is pretty good sized right now, but we're not going to prune it right now. On peaches, nectarines, and other stone fruits, it's best to wait until late February to prune the trees. The people that own big orchards are pruning all winter long. They have to, but they try to put it off as long as possible to avoid winter damage. If we prune this right now, then what we have left is all we have left until spring bloom. And if we get into some really severe cold, we can end up having winter damage. So it's best to leave as much wood on the tree as possible until late winter. Well, after I finish spraying these, I have some other plants to show you that we also should not prune this time of year. And knowing what not to do sometimes in gardening as, is as valuable as knowing what to do. So we'll take a look at those in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.